Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. Yay, Monday Madness here in Australia. Um, my absence, wow, well, we've been away visiting um, family for Australia Day and then away again, we're back and we've had an electrical storm while we were away. So no TV and no internet. Well, our NBM box blew up, so that's why. And I couldn't fix it until now. So it's all fixed, but no TV. But we don't mind because we very, very rare, rarely do watch TV. So no big loss there. So as you can see, the little rascals are happy to be back. And I will just put them aside while they're in a good mood. It's just after 11 o'clock here, um, Monday night. And I'm going to share a project with you. I've used, uh, I was gifted some Reader's Digest books. I've never really taken much interest in them. And, but look at the covers. And I couldn't say no to the covers. And I thought, well, I will have to try to make something. Make a journal out of it. And I know exactly what I'm going to make out of this one. This is just awesome, this one. Love that colour and the texture. And then this one, of course, I have to make another horse journal, um, mainly because I sold my last one, so that's pretty good. Okay, now I've actually made, just let me have a cup of tea here. I've just got a nice cup of tea here. This is my third attempt making this video, so I don't know. But anyway, um, an art journal for the budding artist or experienced artist whoever um, but I did this because I just love that color, cover it's just amazing and um, I gutted it and I did a hidden spine it has five signatures now I can't remember how many pages but there's lots there and the center signatures actually does have um, uh, sketch book papers um, sketch and paint papers and um, Yes, so I just had to use it. I used a, a picture out of a um, paint magazine. I've got got hold of a couple of magazines from while we were away in op shop, and I thought, well, I need them because I'm going to make some art journals. And um, I've used a closure of a necklace. Now, this idea I got from Chrissy Phillips. Thank you, Chrissy, as she gifted me this fantastic horse journal that I'm using for um, Happy Mail entries that I received. And um, and she used a necklace, and I think, oh, I might try it on this one. It looks so cool. And I just happened to have a blue necklace to go with that little bit of blue that's on the cover in itself. I used an eyelet, and I used a um, bigger jump ring. It's like a little curtain ring off I suppose I used a blue bulb pin to attach it so you can take it off you can make it tighter or looser as it gets fatter and fatter you might have to loosen it so it's just easy you just pop it over now I used some cheesecloth and I've you know frayed it tattered it and worked around it now have a look at this photo now um I didn't realise it, but at the time when I glued and then sewed around, and I come around here and I noticed, because I knew she was painting, but I didn't realise what she was painting, and she was painting probably leaves and flowers. But look at the cover. I mean, look at the colour of the flowers, and look at the colour of the flower here. I mean, that was a real fluke, wasn't it? Well, to me it was. It was just amazing. Um, I got this um, out of the magazine. had a big heading that says, How to Draw and Paint. I cut off the how-to because that's going to be another art journal and I just used draw and paint. And what I'd done is because it had this stressed look already on the edges, um, I wanted to add a little bit of colour and that was that I had some um, got some teal acrylic paint and um, let me have a look if I can find it. That's right. It's a um, metallic paint and I got this to make my steampunk horse. That's it there. And um, yes, so I've used it because it just sort of 
blend it in with that bit of color just to you know make it a bit more interesting so let's go inside and there's lots of lots of pages to draw on sketch on paint on journal on whatever you like um, I've um, used sticky tacks on the back of um, some board that I attach the paper to and because the cloth will bind much better onto um, the actual book cover so then I PVA it all onto the actual cover here so it's very very secure um, okay so the first page is um, I've used each signature I use the first page I use it from the a magazine the art and um, uh, the paint magazine I should say and uh, so that you've got you know like brushes and flowers and techniques I only did one bit of stamping just up there so lots of loose pages to scribble on or doodle I used to my mum used to tell me stop doodling Krista when I used to have to do my homework I think we all used to that do that in our one time or another so yeah lots of doodling pages and I've just cut out snippets of the magazine that could be relevant you know the different colors and that my little tuck spot um, various pages that I've been um, you know collecting to make journals um, I've sewed my signatures in with my sewing all and um, I got this from Aristi thank you Aristi a long long time ago but I haven't you never used it very much because I wasn't quite confident it's so easy now it's just amazing and um, so yeah so I was able to just make a lot more stitches to keep it nice and secure and they're nice and straight so I don't have to hide the middle of my signatures anymore and I use the ends and just cut out some little hearts again from some um, bit of cardstock that I have with all these bits of various patterns in there or magazines and I thought that was um, looked pretty cool in there so yes a lot of blank pages and with some various tuck spots here I've made a top tuck spot and I'll just put this here open this up so you can see this is um, I think this is like folk art painting on here just pop that back in there I might just let it sit here so that you can see this a bit better yes various textures of pages of papers I should say made a little tuck spot um, this is out of a magazine believe it or not this is a, um, a cupcake and it's so blurry that you wouldn't know it was a cup to cake but a <laughs> with a little sprinkles but I like the colors of it so I cut it out sewed it onto some cardstock and made it you know a tuck spot out of it and I used a belly band as well on there and then a tuck spot on the end there lots of pages I left whole I didn't want to cut them off you can use them and that's the end of that signature and this is the next signature now this I've got um, was in a magazine and I thought how cool was that I need it for when I make an art journal again I sewed it on some cardstock very light cardstock and made a pocket so I can put a pen um, I should say a pencil and a paintbrush and a tag that was gifted to me a while ago um, it's just from a manila folder and um, I've just popped that in there I thought that was pretty cool you can't have an art journal without a pencil or a paintbrush I used one of my envelopes and just made a little notepad to um, doodle or scribble on sorry mum <laughs> um, here in the middle of each signature I've popped in some um, various pages of colors so I thought that was pretty cool deco art American acrylics a lot of these are pro this is probably an American one but you know color is color um, this out of a magazine had all these little leaves on it can see that I thought that would make a cool little um, cut out for a heart um, some more papers like I said lots of journaling and off uh, some graph paper here that I left whole so that you can just flip it out and flip it down but I just love the pages of this um, art magazine that I found look at that Isn't that cool now comes the center of the the, the uh, third signature and um, you know brush care I mean that's important isn't it I do believe now this um, is actually from my sketchbook um, 
I got this sketchbook from a, one of my op shop halls while we are away and it only had like four pages but they were huge so I was able to cut it up and pop it in there so you can actually use the real thing to um, doodle on or um, you know do a bit of art on it. Next signature, look at this, this is like a canvas paint, isn't it lovely? My little tuck spot. No, I haven't got anything there. I'll have to put something in that one. Here I've just made a little tuck spot. I just flipped the bottom of the page over and just strengthened it with another piece of um, paper. And look how cool that is. Isn't that lovely? Love the colours. And I made a little notepad out of it. center of this signature has got all various um, techniques and using the colors over each color so that was quite interesting red red over wet over wet yellow white edit oh, okay interesting for those that know what they're doing doesn't include me here is um, another interesting little I just followed that page over to make a tuck spot and this is all about um, stippling is another term for dabbing or pat blending. How cool is that? I think we all do that, don't we, at the edges of our um, pictures. I didn't do it on this one. Here I've used one of my um, coloured painted envelope and made a tuck spot. That's the end of that signature. This is the next signature. Um, here I've made a little pocket and this is actually out of a newspaper clipping. Ripped that out and I've, um, we were away then, that's when I found it, and I've um, glued and sewed it onto some light cardstock, popped the little banner on there and made a little tuck spot for a magazine and I've got no idea what this is but it had four stages. I thought, well, that might come in handy for budding artists there, whatever got to be done. And then on the back of that, because I only um, glued it on three sides, I made another tuck spot and just a little something that you can journal on or doodle on. So lots of free pages. This one here is just my computer paper test print page that I coffee dyed. Flip that up and I've got this picture with a pencil. But not realizing it look at the coffee stain mark there it looks like a path <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool amazing here I've used my half of my envelopes and I've put, popped in a weekly list it actually has two tuck spots and one at the back but I didn't put anything in that one but aren't these, look at these colours of these pages. Absolutely love them. More, and that's the end of that. Um, now this paper, actually, this part of the page of the magazine had this really deep crease in it. And I thought it was ripped, but it wasn't. I thought it might come out, but it didn't come out when I attached it. So it's in there, but that's all part and parcel. So yeah, so um, a great little journal. And it's going to be for sale. Um, I was hoping to have a zip it store happening at the beginning of the year, but we're going to be away, so it's going to be just too too hard for me at this point in time. So I'm going to leave my email address down below if anybody's interested in purchasing this, and um, it'll include the postage as well. So, yeah, so this is my draw and paint journal, and I hope you enjoyed the viewing of it. And until next video, in the meantime, you know what you've got to do. Happy crafting. Bye for now.